you, Steve. Mm -hmm. Like, why did you get into IFC and MMA and, and all that to begin with? Um, I always loved watching boxing. Uh, I loved watching Tyson when back, back in the day when he was good. Um, it seemed like boxing kind of went away. It was more about money. And then you start watching MMA, about people wanting to fight more. You know, me, I don't care how much I get paid. I just want to fight. And um, I kind of find out, you know, I took it up uh, when I was overseas. And then uh, I met these guys. Where were you? I'm sorry, what? Where were you? I, I was in Iraq, okay. actually. That's when we kind of, we had a mixed martial arts room there, which is really nice. Uh, we worked out pretty hard there, and then we didn't really develop any technique until I hooked up with these guys here, right when I got back, and then, you know, all one big happy family beating up in each other every night, so. <laughs> okay, but seriously, if I can get you guys kind of both close here, how does a how do how does a guy get in, into into the fight like into MMA? What's this? How do I do it? I'm here in Bismarck, Man Dan. What's the story? What do I do? Basically, all you gotta do is you find a gym, get into a gym, start training. You know, and then uh, the, when you're training, the people you train with, they'll let you know what level they think you're mm -hmm. at. And uh, if you get to the level where you know, and there's different there's different groups of people in the gym. There's the people that are there that want to learn a little bit about self defense, get in shape. Uh, there's a lot of people that are seriously trying to, you know, Cody Pibbs, he's just started, he's 17 years old, 18 years old, century, and okay. he just started kickboxing, and now he, want, he loves it, he wants to be in the competition world, which is good. But. Yeah, then you have the, then you have the little more hardcore guys that are there to, you know, that's what they do, is fight, and, mm -hmm. you know, so... It's it's a it's a ladder that you climb. If you want, if you're if you're if you show skill and show any type of promise, you'll get a fight out of the gym. Okay. Um, upside of it, what are some of the perks of being a kick butt IFC championship fighter? It seems like more people know you. Like if you don't know them, you know. It's, I had two guys come up to me today and say good luck. I'm like, thanks. Where are you? <laughs> especially in the local area like Bismarck, you know, where everything is really tight knit. Bismarck Man is a tight knit community, so. You know, when you go out to the bar or something after the fight, the fight night is obviously the biggest, the big yeah. night. You know, that's our UFC night. Yeah, big that's mark. when you're center stage and everyone eh, buying <laughs> drinks. <laughs> and just, what's up? You know, that's, cool. That's the big night. You know, but even even other than that, walking. You know, if, if you go to the bar with a couple of your buddies, sometimes people come up to me and hey, Leo, how's it going? Good fight. Can I buy mm -hmm. you a drink? Blah blah blah. You know, which is. It's, it's nice. Like nobody picks on me as much as you, you know? <laughs> Right. I, 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 right. I, I would not foresee that happening for either of you guys. Okay, tell me the hardest part, though. What's the hardest part? I mean, obviously, your bodies are trained at maximum capacity yeah, at all times. Part, I, I suppose, you know? Yeah? Today is one of the hardest Today's parts. Today's the hard part. Last night was a tough. Last Wings. night and Wednesday. It's tough. You know, you, you know, you get that mental thing going where you're like, okay, well, how's the fight going to go down? But, yeah, you got another thing to pass. You got to make weight. Well, making weight is is about the hardest physically and mentally of the of the competition because you weigh in the day before your fight, so you know you cut enough weight to where you're physically, mentally taxed. You know, hmm. so it's a. Uh, it's tough. So, okay, so when do you guys actually get to eat, like, a big old steak or, like, right hamburger? After, right after we get on that scale. Get on the get scale? Off. Okay, okay. Um, little inside secret for Hot 97.5, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any special prep rituals, like the one thing that you do or a song? No, tell your song. Like, what's that song that you put in your ear, turn it up, and get pumped up? What is it? I actually have a couple different songs. a few good songs. Yeah. 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 Share? Um, Miley Cyrus, maybe? No. <laughs> Oh, few, uh, <laughs> You're making the climb. <laughs> you know, a lot of Lincoln Park songs, you know, a couple old school DMX songs. You know, there was one that's it's called the intro. That is Chuck Liddell's old entrance song. That's actually gonna be mine tomorrow. That one gets me going. Um, gets the testosterone going. I don't know what about you. Uh, hell yeah, you wouldn't know. It's okay. One of my that's a good song. All time favorite ones. Anything that's like upbeat, up tempo. You know, like uh, I've seen a study on. Uh, you know, rock music, harder rock music, and it actually like increases endorphins in your in your brain and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, so anything like that, where any type of music for you to where it makes you feel, you know, when you. 
put the song on and it's like, oh, you're yeah, invincible. You're ready, you know? You Anything know, like that. We don't listen to much love music like a week before the Not fight. a lot, yeah. It's okay. I'll, just be, fight, I'll be in love on the other side of the camera. I'll feel the love. There you go. Okay, guys, I have to tell you, so lucky to come and hang out with Hot 97.5. Thank you. We're cheering yeah. you on. I can't wait to come out and cheer you on tomorrow night, but it's really Be cool that you night. gave our listeners some insight into your world. Yeah, so, Thanks awesome. You Thank you once again. Leo, introduce yourself in case people don't know. What's up? Steve, just the original. <laughs> <laughs>